Hi, I'm Ella Joyce. I'm one of the artists for Dawn of the Unread. I uh, did the illustrations for the Shelves chapter with David Belvin, and it's a comic about Stanley Middleton, who is another Nottingham writer. Um, it's quite a nice story of how I got involved with Dawn of the Unread because um, I've never done comic illustration before, this is my first comic. Um, and I actually met James through uh, an art exhibition. Uh, he mentioned that he was doing comics and, um, and uh, about writers and kind of local writers in Nottingham. And I mentioned that my dad, um, I didn't know if James might have heard of him because my dad was a writer. And, um, and I, I mentioned his name and I said, oh, do you know Graham Joyce? And he said, yeah, I do know Graham Joyce. He's meant to be one of the writers for, my, for this comic. Um, and we got talking and um, he realised that um, I was into art, I was doing, uh, I was just starting my art foundation course at the time and um, he said, like, do you, would you like to be involved with this? It would be a really nice thing, like a kind of tribute to your dad to, to be one of the um, artists on one of the comics and I said that would be amazing because it seemed like such a great opportunity and I'd never done anything like it before so it was something completely new. My first commission was um, actually on one of my dad's book covers um, he basically he sent off one of my paintings of him that I'd done for A-level and um, sent it to his publishers because they were looking for an image for a collection of his short stories um, and he said like this is a painting of me that a local artist had done he didn't mention it was me because I was really embarrassed at the time I didn't want him to know um, and he just uh, he sent it off and they loved it and they put it on the cover and um, and like James said oh can I see any of your work I said that it was on the cover and uh, he had a look at it and thought it was, thought it was good, hopefully. <laughs> I saw your artwork and I was absolutely blown away because I thought it would be brilliant to have you in the comic to carry on your dad's history because he was meant to be a writer. And I was thinking, oh, everyone says they're an artist. What, what's going to happen here? When I saw your work, it was absolutely fantastic. So I was really relieved and that's when I knew he was going to be the artist. Um, so like I said before, I've never done a comic before in my life. I'm usually a fine artist, so I tend to do painting and printmaking and this was kind of something entirely new. Uh, so the way I went about it was probably not the best way, but it was the way that worked for me. So um, basically I started off by drawing a rough draft out. So these were the pages that were just really rough. They were just planning everything out. Um, I had a little idea of how everything was meant to look, but obviously you put stuff on pages and it doesn't look the same as you think it will. So there was a lot of moving about at that stage. There was a lot of just shading in pictures and then deciding, no, that doesn't work and redrawing it and just really, really rough, really rough sketches. And, and just to kind of map everything out, map everything out in my head, it wasn't meant to be perfect. Um, but once I had everything kind of like I wanted it to be, I then decided to do all the drawings by hand because I'm not very confident working on the computer. Um, I, ha I did have a graphics tablet um, and I did end up using that quite a lot but later on um, but at this stage I was just like I'm going to draw it out by hand because that's what I'm mo most confident with. Um, so yeah I just I just got large sheets of paper because I wanted them to be as detailed as possible when I scanned them in and um, just drew out the pages as I thought they should look. I drew them out in pencil first um, and then went on into ink and I just inked in all by hand which took quite a long time, it was quite a long process but it was um, it was worth it I think. It looked, I had quite a nice look at the end of it and um, I know some people do do it by like they get actual quink ink or just black ink and they paint it in um, but because there wasn't any kind of massive areas of black in my drawings I just did it all by like with ink pens so I don't know there's probably a more technical way to do it but that was how I did it just fine liners and um, just for shading in so quite long. <laughs> so the last page was this one um, and we anticipated it being the most difficult because um, it was a bit of a nightmare trying to fit all of the titles basically it's a bookshelf of all Nottingham's um, writers, well not all of them because it's not a definitive list and there's so many people that I'm sure have been missed off it and probably accidentally because it's just not space for everyone but uh, we tried to think of a list of quite um, important, or well, David did, tried to think of a list of quite important Nottingham writers um, and then I just had to draw them all onto a bookshelf um, and James said quite early on that he quite liked my hand to be in the bookshelf putting a book on which was my dad's book um, which obviously meant as well that some of the uh, books were obscured and I had to think about how to lay it out on a page. So it, it kind of was the most difficult page, although 
I don't really think it looks the most difficult image. It's it's just like a shelf of books, but it was it was um it was a bit of a a headache trying to figure out where everything should go. One of the really useful things was that uh, David gave me access to a load of photos of Stanley because um, I didn't know him very well or I didn't ever know him so it was um, it was nice to be able to see what he was like and they were all family photos so they were very nice photos uh, but there were also photos of some of his paintings as well so because Stanley Middleton was a painter so I thought it would be really nice to get that into the into the comic illustrations so in a sense this is a, a comic illustration of one of his paintings a painting of a painting um, but it was a nice thing to get in. Um, there was also another shot um, which was based on a photograph um, of Stanley Middleton. It was meant to be a shot of him shrugging his shoulders because uh, I think the caption reads, um, but I don't think he thought he would have thought it mattered much. But I saw this photograph and I thought it was so beautiful. It was just him standing at the beach looking out at the sea and I just thought it really summed up what the page was all about. So that was also a drawing of a photograph, obviously kind of like a bit of artistic license, but it's, it's, it's taken inspiration from that. So um, it's quite exciting because um, I'm just coming to the end of my foundation course now. Um, I, I've done a year at Loughborough University, it's been a brilliant year. Um, but I've been accepted to study fine art at the Ruskin, which is part of Oxford University. So I'm really, really excited about that. I'm going to be starting in October um, and I just can't wait. It's going to be brilliant. It's got like a history of art elements to the course. It's, but it's just going to be majorly like exploration of art and I just can't wait. So this is my first proper professional project I suppose. Um, hopefully it won't be my last, hopefully it's the first of many but it was, it's was it been really brilliant and like a great way to sort of start a career I suppose. <laughs>